Hello everybody, and welcome back to Alone on the Ark. I am Father of Nerds, and I am currently standing in front of a pair of mating megatheriums. These are two of the ones that we bred from the ones we got. And even though this is a lower level one, it's the only female that I got out of that so far. But I have a really nice breeding set from these ones. Or a, a nice uh, couple males here. And the only thing that this one does not have is the melee damage. So I'm hoping to get something good out of it that will give me the extra melee. And then keep breeding down. And we're going to start building our Broodmother army. I think there's a couple artifacts I still need. Possibly. We definitely need to get more because I want to keep these up here. So we'll gather some more. But I want to get these bred up. And get them going so that we can say... We are on the way. Alright, so six and a half minutes. Alright. I should probably go check on meat. Up in there. We have tons of cooked meat. Handy. Yes. Okay. We're gonna meat. Put this in the fridge. I have various things for imprinting, just in case I need it, but I don't have a lot of things. Let me actually get a couple of these out. And while I'm waiting, grab a little more. We'll get this Pego here because I don't like Pegos. Should be good. Just cooking, cook meat is easier to deal with than raw meat. Last longer, stack tire, all that. And I'm keeping some cooked fish or some raw fish from the baryonyx. This in my pocket. All right, keep that going. And let's see. Is that berries? Yes. Okay, I'll put that here. And we are going to need some more berries here fairly soon. So you know what? I'm Mr. Beaver. I like Ethereum during there. That's a few. Finding a bit of a cold today, so I apologize if I sound stuffy at all. intention of dealing with the beer, especially single player, just to be forever. ones. There we go. It weirded me out for a minute. 
Okay, so we have these aloes too. Maybe. Look at them breeding too, because I can just pop their eggs into the fridge. Sorry. My mouse double clicks itself sometimes. Time to replace it. But for now, try not to hit anybody. Yeah, I think this is one of the ones that I got at Halloween too. I don't remember if that was on camera or not. It's a purple dipple. Almost here. Ah. Okay, 178. Not super promising. Not get anything. Well, anything I'm looking for. Did not get the health, did not get the melee damage. That is a bummer. Okay, come with me. Let me pick up eggs that I heard drop. Guys, go back at it. All right. Well, I will see you back when they are ready to give me another one, and we'll start from there. And here comes another one. And also, I messed up earlier. That one did actually have the correct stats. I was forgetting about the imprint on these ones. So I had the ones I was looking for. Went back and checked the original breeding pair. Come on. Can do it. They're stuck, huh? Okay, let's see. Have an empty power pod. That in there and drop that on the ground. Do that. Uh, 385. Okay, yep, that's it. That's what we're looking for. And that is another male. Exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, thank you. That's. That's okay. Get you this way. Face it backwards, and that should help. Are we now? Or, or you know, it resets it. Okay. So, let's get these ones going again. I'll get that one raising up, and I'll see you in a bit. There we go. Megatherium has risen up really quickly, thanks in part to the settings I have, coupled with single player. So, 25% each imprint. This is the third one. It started at 75%, and only 38% grown. So, raising up really quick in a very short imprint cycle, which means he's done quickly, but I have to stay with him, stick with him. And this one has not even popped out the next baby yet. So, we are well on our way to a very fast army. Speaking of, I have renamed this one Army, and this one as well, since it's not doing anything with the breeding. Um, I think these might have been twins, I don't remember. But, this one is nearly done, so, get nice and big, pop out another baby, and we'll keep the cycle going, and probably get a couple more. Uh, okay, let's see, 40, 
these stats. Yeah, okay. Did not get the right melee damage. But that doesn't matter too much with the Megatheriums, because they're going to go postal on the bugs anyway. Come on. As long as we get the health, that's all that I really care about. Keep our cycle going. I did stop the aloes from breeding. So I got, I think, seven eggs. Eight eggs. And I went ahead and started their incubation on most of them. It goes really quickly, again, because of settings. And I do have some, what you call it, air conditioners under here so that they go nice and fast. Get that one down to almost hatching while I wait for this one. Do you want to cuddle again? Yeah. Alright. So, halfway done growing, 100% imprint. So, I do have boosted settings because I don't have time with my busy schedule and everything else to sit around waiting forever on the things that don't really need to wait. On a public server with a lot of people, things like that, yeah, I could see. Um, in fairness, having to wait and go slow on everything, but I'm by myself just trying to power through it, so not a big deal to me. I've only had to do two cuddles and or three cuddles and a walk, I think. Alright, so yeah, 455, 55, or 5, that's what we're looking for. This one will get up to the same health with a slightly lower melee damage, so 421 instead of 455. But that's not the end of the world. That was close. I think... Cuddle? Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll let this one pop out. We will Stop that for right now, and hope that the next one is female. And change name, just so I make sure that I grab the right ones. And then I think we will take this one into the swamp cave and get some levels on it. What I've found to be the fastest way to level up all the Megatheriums is just take them a um, couple in my pocket and they'll get levels of them going, but then just go through the Swamp Cave. Everything's really high level and there's lots of it, so just kill it all and level up. So I'll bring you back when it's time to do that and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, got one more. And it's female, with all the right stats. And so is this one that I have in my pocket. So, we now have three females we can breed from. So we'll be able to crank out the army a lot faster. So I think what I do, I'm gonna get this one all imprinted, this new baby, and leave it here while it's growing up, and then take out this one, which should be grown very soon, and this one, which is one of the ones from recent, um, the other one that's over there, 
and probably put that one in my pocket, ride that one, and then maybe swap them. And then we'll see where this one's at when we leave. That probably won't be raised up by the time this one is done imprinting. Okay. And then once we get back, we'll cut all three of the females on breeding and get them breeding some more. Because the health seems to be fine. It's just the melee and it doesn't come out high every time, but I'm not too worried about that. But most of the levels into health, I already gave this one nine levels up to over 11,000. And then I'll probably, once I'm there, I'll test it, see how much higher it goes with adding levels to the um, enraged bait and see if that helps at all. If it does, then I'll do some, but if it doesn't, then I won't worry too much about it at all. I just don't know if the enraged state, yeah, the enraged state has a, an effect on that at all. There you go. Okay, so we'll be back in, see this is one more, two and a half minutes, so about 10 minutes, and we'll head out. And there's the phyla. Right. Well, we almost made it down. Where am I? Oh, turn around. Now. There we go. Just trying to cut across and not violent. Come on, pinks. Different angle than usual. He's lost. Like the right place. So yeah, this is the lake. Okay. So we're almost there. I have four megatheriums and the one with a saddle. Shock here. But I did. Well, I've never had an issue with dying here. Okay. Let's go ahead and just try it. this right now. I have three of these. Now let's leave one on for just in case I have to go back in. And I think that's it. I'll leave these two out. Yeah. I think we'll call it good. And this one is one with saddle, I believe. I should have an indicator. Cave. Put the 
this on. Not have a lot left, but I don't have enough black pearls to make more absorb or absorb substrate. So we will just try to be fast. for now and 600 in melee 20,000 25,000 all right let's see where we're at I'll leave this nail Right click 985. This is not too bad.
anything coming after me? Yep, that happened. Okay, so back to here. Are you the one I've been waiting for? Oh yes, I forgot about this. You might be. I hope so. It's been so many cycles since I was her. Do I even still remember hope? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. While well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, Survivor. You may be the only one who can. Alright. Kinda wish I had put down a bed. Next time. Alright, made it back, used the trainer on, brought a couple Argents over, I think we'll name this one Uber, it will be for catching the leftover, and let's see, I'll take Baryonyx to ride, just to make sure that I have something, and this is why we left one gas mask. Grab my stuff.
Thank you. All right. Let's see. We can't get back out of here. So that's all broken. Let's see which one is this. No. Okay, so this one has the saddle.
Okay. Let's meet. What you up to? Thirty thousand right there. Okay. Melee and let's get out of here. I will check for some more loot on the way, but we are just exiting before my other gas mask decides to give out. Oops. This is the shortcut, I believe, but the cry out just yet. I've seen in the past a little bump that we ended up getting killed in it. Yeah, just me talking. Respawn set. Oh, a little bit. No more stamina. Oh. Okay, not so bad. Made it out. And now here to kill me. Hop on you. Off. Still good for a while. We are gonna have to get some more black pearls, so it's time to go in the ocean anyway. Got another artifact. Let's head on home, get stuff repaired, and see where we're ended up with all of our XP from this cave. See you in a bit. Alright, and we're back. Got the wall laid out, got my clothes put back on, and we have four megatheriums, two of which are very bloody, but let's see what we have. So we have here, we end up with 30,000 health, which is where I think I'm going to stop on all of them and then we'll just put the rest in the melee. And this guy is going to be a while healing up. This one, also 30,000, um, not as much XP, so not as many into melee, but still a good bit. This one we did not write it all in there, it has 10 levels, so that definitely helps. Put it all into health for now. And this one only got four levels. But that's not too bad, because we it was just barely got all raised up before we took it. But just having it in our pocket seemed to help. So let these guys heal up, probably take a pig over to help out with that a bit. I've actually found with the pig um, cooked prime meat does a lot for it because it feeds so much. So, I don't to get you healing passively. Have food, and there's other food around, so. Passive healing, come on. Bug out a bit. Should be able to get them though. There it goes. Alright, so we'll let it heal up. Oh, that was the other baby. So this one, Army B for Army Breeder. We have three females and a male. I'm gonna crank out a few more. Take up to 20 things in with us, one of which will be a Uteranus I will be riding, which we don't have yet. So, for now, I think that's going to do it. Next time, probably do a little more of that and some other preparation, and hopefully get going into the brood weather pretty soon. So, I hope you enjoyed it, 
If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more. As always, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.